السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. Welcome to our short classes for Tajweed. This is inshallah will be the easiest way to learn how to recite Quran properly. So if you are ready, the first thing, if you want to read Quran properly, what you need to do? You need to practice the pronunciation. Most of people, they struggle because of the pronunciation and they don't know how to pronounce the words properly. But if you open your Quran book, what do you find? You will find a surah. Inside this surah, you will find ayah, the verses, right? Each ayah, it contains what? It contains a words. Each word, it's containing letters. So if you know how to pronounce each letter properly, you can pronounce the whole word properly. If you know how to read the words correctly, it means you can read the ayah correctly. If you read the ayah correct, it means you can read the surah correct. So let's do first how to do the correct pronunciation of the letters. Here it is, I will say it, and I will mention if there is a mistake or a common mistake people use to do. And I will tell you what is the correct way to pronounce, insha'Allah ta'ala. So, the first half is alif. And this alif is not hamza. Say alif. Alif is for the mad. Alif. Don't say alif. It's like when we start Surah Al-Baqarah and we say alif, la mim. So have to be soft like this. Alif. Alif. Ba. Never ever say ba or ta or tha. The correct way is to say ba. Ba. Soft. Ta. Ta. The tongue, you will put it up near between the gum and the teeth. So you can pronounce harfu ta. But you pronounce it soft. Don't say ta. Ta. This sound is not correct. Have to say ta. Ta. This one is tha, tha. Common mistake people used to do is they say sa, but it's totally different. Once you pronounce it sa, you will change the meaning of the word. So be careful in this one. Put your tongue out and say tha, tha. So always say tha, ba, ta, tha. We move to jim. Jim. Don't say G, G, Jim. And don't say Jim, like it's, you press too much. Just in between. With the tongue, in the middle of the center of the tongue, help us to pronounce harful Jim. So we say Jim, Jim. Ha comes from the throat, and you have to practice it a lot if you have a problem with ha. Because from the throat, we have six letters. One of them in the middle of the throat is ha, ha, ha. If you don't know how to pronounce it properly, start to practice it with sukun first. So you say ah, ah, ah. Then you say ha, ha. The next half is ho, ho. You see this one? Yeah, I pronounce it strong. But they say ha, ha. No, ho, ho. Jim, ha, ho. Del, never ever say dal. Have to say del, soft. Del, del. Vel, vel. If you see here, tongue is out. Looks like what? Which one half we have done with tongue out? Here it is. So one, fa, tongue out. Then, Zal, zal. Don't say zal, zal. Wrong. Zal, dal, zal. Then, ro, ro, ro. As I said always, don't pout your lips when you pronounce ra. Why? Because the ra pronunciation is from the tongue. No relation with the lips. So don't say ra, ra. To pronounce it, no need. Maybe it's like. English R, say R, is <laughs> totally different than the R in Arabic. It's so clear. R, R. Then, Zay, 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 don't say Zay, Zay, it is Zay. 
Then we have seen. Seen. Don't say seen or sim, shim, wrong. Seen. Seen. Like when you read Surah Yasin, you say Yasin. Sheen. Sheen. If you don't know, you say Ash. Sheen. Sod. Sod. This is looks like what? Like sin. But this one is soft. But this one is strong. So this is sin like se. But this one, sod. So, strong. You feel that the mouth is full with the sound of sod. Then, bod. Bod. A strong harf. Bod. With the tongue, have to, uh, have to touch uh, the teeth up. But don't say dad, dad. No. It's bod, bod. Okay. Then, po, po. See? Po, po. You put the, the, the tongue near to the, um, between the gum and the teeth, but you pronounce it strong. Like ta, soft. But po is strong. Vo, vo. Tongue out. So we have the tongue out, vel, and we have vo, vo. Don't say zo. Most of people they say zo. Wrong. Totally wrong. Different. Makhraj. Uh, it means wrong pronunciation. It means different meaning, which is totally not correct. Vo. So vo. Ain, ain. Most of people struggle with ain. It comes from the throat. This needs a lot of practice. But don't say ain, ain. You pronounce from the nose. If you want to practice ain, I will give you a funny way. Maybe it's funny, but it's okay to try. You should catch your nose, then you try. If the sound is different, say ah, ah, wrong ain. Say ah, ah. This is the correct one. It means we pronounce it from the throat, not from the tongue. So say, Ain, ah, 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 Ain. Then, Ghoin, Ghoin. Ghoin is from the throat, but it's closer to the tongue. So we pronounce it strong. Say, Gho, Gho, Ghoin, Ghoin. Then we have, Tha. Usually people, they say, Tha, Tha. Tha. But it's correctly is Tha. Tha. Kof. Uh, kof, you have to make it deeper. Don't say Kof. Kof. You pronounce from the tongue or the, the middle or the beginning of the tongue. No. You have to say you feel that it's touching the tonsil. If you have a tonsil and everybody have tonsil, you can pronounce half a Kof. If you don't know, you say Ako. Ako. So, then we have calf. Usually people, they make mistake here for the calf. Why? Because they pronounce cough and calf, same as cough, cough. What's the difference? No difference like this. We need to know what's the difference between this. This one is strong, so I say cough. But this one is so soft, they say calf, calf, calf. Then lamb, lamb, never ever say lamb, lamb. It is lamb, lamb. Meme, meme, easy, just from the lips. Meme, same for the noon, noon. Maybe, maybe, some people they say noon, noon. Everything from the, 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 the nose. But have to be just noon, see? Noon, don't say noon, noon. Ha, it's from the throat, but it's easy to pronounce. Ha, ha. Wow. People usually read it, read it. Wow. This wow is in English, but the Arabic wow is soft. So we say wow. Be careful. Don't say wow. Don't say wow, but it is in between wow. Well, yeah, don't say yeah. It is yeah, yeah, soft. And the last half is Hamza. 
Hamza usually, this is the one comes with Fatha or Dhamma or Kasra, and then we say A, U, E. You can find it on the top of Alif or Waw. So, but the name is Hamza, but the way that we read it is it depends to the, uh, the Harakah. So let's now do all the huru from the beginning until the end. We start from the beginning. Alif, Ba, Ta, Tha, Jim, Ha, Kho, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zay, Sin, Shin, Sad, Dad, Ta, Va, Ain, Ghain, Tha, Qaf, Kaf, Lam, Mim, Noon, Ha, Waw, Ya, Hamza. Done like this. I hope you practice this huruf so many times. Once you repeat more, you can get the correct pronunciation. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. This going on.